the direction of current. Hey, the current would therefore have a direction. The problem is that the electric current cannot be seen. But we see the effects. When we close the switch, we see the motor running here. I observe the direction of rotation and a light bulb that shines. When I reverse the battery terminals, the motor still turns but in the other direction. The bulb shines in the same way. So, we have to admit that if the motor has changed direction, it is because we have probably changed the direction of the current. We will admit, it is a convention, that the current flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal. The current goes down, let's say, a bit like water. The direction of the river flow is always from the highest point to the lowest point. So, it's a little bit the same for the current flowing from the plus sign to the minus. Here is an illustration with the plus sign here. The current which would leave the positive terminal and if we reverse, well the current always leaves the positive terminal. The current is represented by an arrow. And we are offered here to schematize the circuit used. So with the engine, the battery, I chose this one because the plus sign is at the bottom. The switch and the arrow for the direction of the current. So I have the choice between these two arrows. Where will I get the information? Well here. I look at where the plus sign is on the battery. The current is coming out that way. This means that it flows in this direction and it is therefore this arrow quite naturally that I will choose. The diode. We will talk about the diode whose symbol is here. It's an arrow. Besides, this is no accident. We see here that this arrow is in the same direction as the current. If we close the switch, the plus being here, the current flows like that, in that direction. If you reverse the battery terminals, without touching the switch, the lamp goes out. The current would have liked to pass like that, from the plus to the minus sign, except that the arrow of the symbol opposes it. In fact, there is no current at all. So I don't need to ask myself the question of the current arrow, to know how I represent it. No current, no arrow. As is the case here on the right. There is no current here on the right. We just saw it. With the plus sign of the battery, here, if there was current it would be in that direction. But the diode opposes it. So there isn't. If the symbol of the diode is in the same direction as the direction of the current, at this moment we can represent the current by an arrow. Finally, I offer you an application exercise here. Place the second diode so that the motor stops running. So we will start by activating the switch to open the circuit. That is still true. Whenever you have to modify a circuit, you prevent the current from flowing. It is a precautionary principle. So, I can place the wires here. To place the second diode but I have to think before arranging it so that it opposes the flow of current. So we're going to put it in the opposite direction to diode number one. And I check. Indeed, 
If this diode opposes the flow of current, the motor no longer turns. That's it for this video. Thank you 